Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about intelligence. Intelligence in general and your vocabulary specifically. Um, now, I am on Twitter and I follow an awful lot of you, so I get to see an awful lot of tweets. And I'm a little bit concerned about a trend I'm seeing. It seems like people's vocabularies have shrunk to about five or six currently fashionable words. Um, at the moment, it is the word jeez, J-H-E-E-Z. I'm seeing it bloody everywhere. Uh, at first, it was a nice surprise. You know, I hadn't heard the word jeez in absolutely ages. But today, I've seen it about a thousand times already. And I know this weekend after the Premiership Games, there'll be a million videos of good goals and everyone's going to be all jeez, jeez. And I just feel like you're selling yourself short, to be honest with you. Um, it is mildly cretinous to use the same words over and over again just because they're fashionable. Um, so I think it's time to push yourself out of this kind of mildly cretinous comfort zone that some of you seem to have fallen in. Um, so try and avoid the word jeez. Uh, previously, it was scenes, uh, anything exciting happened, it was scenes, scenes or screaming, screaming. Um, so what I want to challenge you guys to do is to really express yourself, use your full vocabulary. Um, I will be reading the messages below the comments on this and responding to the best ones. Um, and also people who tweet me, you send me a good tweet with some good words in it, I'm going to follow you, guaranteed. Um, so rather than just some exciting happens, rather than just a one word G's or scenes or something, really try and put down on paper exactly how it's made you feel. So it could be anything, you know, a good goal. It could be, oh, I'm amazed by the audacity to try that or um, something that's annoyed you. I'm, I'm disheartened by the dispirited, by the, the despair evident in this tweet or something like that. Um, yeah, just push yourselves, push yourselves. I believe in you. You can step up a level and it's time to do that. Um, as well as that, you know, leading on from the intelligence thing, I did want to talk about results day. I believe it's GCSE results day today and last week it was A-level results day. And what I wanted to say, you know, for those of you who've done and got exactly what you wanted, well done. You know, you've done well. For those of you who haven't, I just wanted to say, don't be too down about it. You know, don't go into a pit of despair. It is a setback is all it is. You know, it's happened to many people. Um, I read some messages the other day about a guy who would not got one result that he needed and he can't go into medical school now um, and he was changing his whole degree his whole future that he wanted to do and I just wanted to say you know if you haven't got the results you wanted it's not the end of the world you know take a year out of your life and go back and do them again you know don't write off the rest of your life don't give up your dreams just because you haven't got the results you wanted it's a year it's a year go back and do them get the results you need and go on and do what you want you know your life goes on for a long time you're going to be working for most of it 40 50 years uh, do something push yourself as much as you can get the job that's going to challenge you that you're going to enjoy uh yeah that's about it really just don't be too down about it you know it's not the end of the world there's always a second chance and there's someone at the door right i better go and wrap this video up i will be uploading on my commentary channel tonight uh i'm a wizard you're a wizard harry i'll be reacting to that so if you requested it uh so yeah keep your eyes open for that right see you later